Last up today, living out in the country isn't for everyone, but for Rookie Reporter Joe, it's perfect because out away from the lights of the city is the best place to see the millions of stars up in our sky. He loves it so much he's even built his own telescope and weather balloon to capture photos of it all. Here's Joe's story. G'day, I'm Jonah and I live in outback Queensland near the town of Cecil Plains. I'm an apprentice diesel mechanic and I help out my dad in our property. Living out here might not appeal to everyone, but it's actually the perfect place for stargazing and I love it. I started getting interested in space a few years ago. I looked at all the cool photos of galaxies and gas clouds in magazines and wondered what else was out there. Then I got my first telescope when I was 15. After a while, I decided I wanted to upgrade to something a bit bigger so I could see more. The big telescopes are really expensive. I love to design and build stuff. So I got to work and built this one myself. So the starlight comes through the top of the telescope, down the tube, and is reflected off the primary mirror, back up the tube, off the secondary mirror, and into the camera. I've taken photos of planets, galaxies and comets. One of my photos was even featured in the magazine that first got me interested in astronomy. But I wanted to see even more. I really wanted to get a photo of the blackness of space and the curvature of the Earth. To do that, I need to get up really high above the atmosphere. And after some research, I figured out that'd be possible with a weather balloon. The whole thing took me about four months to organise. There was a lot to do, like experimenting with different cameras and seeing if they work in different conditions, and choosing batteries and GPS. Also needed to make a parachute and a box that the cameras sit in. Spent the next few weeks after that waiting for the perfect weather conditions. I was finally ready to launch. When I let the balloon go, it was really exciting and a little bit concerning because it's out of your control. This is just the neighbour's paddocks. It's spinning around because of the wind and then it just goes up and up right into the edge of space and it's cool to know that that's, that's our space. Our place is just right down underneath us. Right the weather balloon went about 33 kilometres up into the sky. That's in the stratosphere where the ozone layer is. Up there, the balloon stretched to about eight metres in size. Then it burst. So you can see all the little fragments of the balloon. Also the parachute flapping around. The rope got caught on the camera pole out the side and it's falling um, sideways. It took about half an hour to fall. And that's when things went a bit wrong. The GPS unit in the balloon failed, so I had no way of finding out where it had fallen. We did mail made flyers and put them all in the mailboxes in the whole area. But five weeks later, had some good news. Someone found it on their property about 50 k's away. He was then spraying his sorghum and had seen my payload lying in his paddock. And that was awesome to hear that. <laughs> I got the payload back safe and sound and I was really stoked to seal the footage. It was just what I hoped for. I'm planning to send another balloon up into the air in a few months. This time at night so I can get some awesome photos of the Earth as well as hopefully capture a few shots of the Milky Way. After that, who knows? When it comes to space, possibilities are endless.